What's going on everyone, Juicebags here, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, as we were notified last week, there is going to be an upcoming PTR, or Public Testing Realm, which could potentially be up as early as this weekend, that is going to be focusing on the new player experience. The new player experience in Dungeon Defenders Awaken will be changing uh, from what it is currently, and we're going to be able to test that out. Now that brings me around to my question for the day, and that is if you were a brand new player in Dungeon Defenders Awakened, but knowing what you already know now, what would your starting deck be? Of course, you can start off with six heroes. When you first load into the game for the first time, you've got a squire already created, and you can choose your six. Now, as we all know, as current endgame players, it becomes extremely easy to level up alts or level up new characters once you get to end game, uh, just really, really quick and painless. However, getting to that point, you're if you have one well-refined deck, that is going to really open up all the possibilities for you as far as progressing through and getting to Massacre, where you can easily grind out those alts. So if you're starting fresh, who do you choose? You could pick six. However, we do have, uh, what, eight characters now to start with, um, with a ninth incoming uh, within the next months. So who would your six be? Two would be left out. Um, for me personally, I think as a no-brainer, I would add in maybe a, a summoner. Uh, first off, it's just the newest hotness and it's fun to use. Uh, without question, I would go with an EV. Uh, you all know I'm a big fanboy of the Monk, so a Monk will always be in my starting arsenal anytime I'm playing any Dungeon Defenders game, if there's a Monk available. And then what do we get down to now? Well, the Rogue is DPS only. So, although the Rogue is very fun to play, the Rogue would be a really easy first skip, as you can just make a rogue once you get the end of game, and the real fun with the rogue is going to become with the gear, the end game gear and weapon sets, where you can put together a fine-tuned build. So I think I personally would skip the rogue, and what next? I mean, I would love to include the warden in the deck as well, so if we threw in a warden, then we would have to leave out somebody, right? Let's see, we've got our Monk, we've got... Oh, I didn't get my Huntress. Uh, we need a Huntress as well. It's going to come down to that first position, I think, for me personally. Um, the Gas Traps alone from the Huntress are just a huge, huge quality of life and progression tool using them for crowd control as you're just progressing through the game. So the Huntress is definitely one that I would have in the deck. And then it's going to come back to slot number one. Uh, do I keep... The squire or do I go with an apprentice and in this particular situation I personally would probably only be using them to build as far as initial progression through the game and I could see reasons to use either one uh, the apprentice has definitely got some strong strong tools in the deck uh, the squire does as well now the difference is is the squire does require a little bit of help so Although the Apprentice is super strong as far as a builder right out of the gates, the Squire is going to require some runes before the defenses become really good, and then additionally the Squire is going to require an endgame weapon set before it becomes like a go-to DPS. So to be honest, I think for me, I would probably leave the Squire home. So I would go with uh, the Apprentice in the deck, and then that Huntress was the uh, last edition. Oh, Grunty. So I believe that's what I personally will go with in this upcoming PTR. Uh, we've got an Apprentice, a Summoner, the EV, a Monk, a Warden, and a Huntress. And I think if I was brand new starting the game today... Knowing what I know, I believe this is the deck I would go with, and I think that this would really help me progress, to be honest, all the way through the game to Massacre Mode where I could start fine-tuning. Now, there is something to say with Squire Walls and Harpoons once you get some runes, 
However, until you find the rune sets, uh, I think the go-to wall would be to slap down an ogre. They're just so beast. So that would be my six. What is your starting six for Dungeon Defenders Awaken? Uh, let me know down in the comments below. Um, I'm going to be looking through the comments and making my choices for the upcoming PTR based off of what you all leave down. So if there's just any starting six deck hero you would like to see, uh, don't tell me six EVs or six summoners or whatever. Mix it up. Only one of each hero. But if there was something that you would like to see, uh, I am going to be playing through that PTR several times through in a few different formats and personal challenges. But that will do it for this episode. Thanks an absolute ton. Uh, just let me know down below what is your starting six. But thank you all so much for watching. As soon as we get more details on the PTR, uh, as far as uh, what, when, and where, I will let you all know right here on the channel. So thanks again, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.